so many people want to work with groups. So Deanna, you have worked, I feel like extensively with children in groups um, and you do it in a creative way. Do you want to just share how you um, introduce DFT to the group and how you work with them and you've done follow-ups. So I would love to know that too, how you led the first one, how you led a follow-up um, and how you introduced and pitched it. Sure. Um, I would love to. Can you hear me? Okay. Um, yeah. So I had a friend who um, had a friend who's a school teacher and I was um, speaking with her and explaining EFT. She had never heard of it. Um, just gave the teacher, you know, all the juicy info about it. And she was really interested. Um, and we just made a plan for me. She's a, she was a special education teacher small class, um, only seven kids ranging from age seven to 11. Um, so we made a plan for me to come to her classroom just to during story time. And I had found this book. It's um, by Alex Ortner, Gorilla Thumps and Bear Hugs. It's a great uh, book. It's, it's just a sweet little story um, with awesome illustrations. It goes over the Tapping points, it gives them cute little names like um, the hairy eyebrow point, the super eagle eye point. And um, when I tap here, I pretend I have super eagle eyes that let me look, into, look, look at things differently. Um, there's the lion cry point that helps me remember that even if, uh, if, even if I'm as strong as a lion, it's still okay to cry and let bad feelings out. So it just, you know, it just really, it's a soft um, introduction, sweet introduction for kids. So I went to the classroom and I read the book and that was all I did at first. I didn't do anything else that day. The kids were attentive and paying attention. It was, it was you know, they absorbed it. Um, I also in that first session talked to the teachers. There was the main teacher and um, three assistants and, you know, gave them the basics of EFT, um, let them know that, showed them how to tap um, and then let them know that, you know, their own tapping and then maybe working with the kids. I, I also gave them a handout of the tapping points the very first time I was there. Um, and just some basic info about tapping with kids that I found um, on the Ortner site and encouraged them to kind of get themselves familiar. And then I went back the second time just a, a week later, um, read the story again. Uh, that time they were a little less into it. Um, and then had the opportunity to work with each child individually for about 10 minutes. And um, in that situation, I just, I, I had, I'd made photocopies of the pictures from the book of each, of each tapping point. And I just kind of went through them with them. I never, I, I did four, five sessions with the kids all together over five weeks. And um, it was more just getting them to just even do the tapping points. Um, you know, they were pretty distracted and, um, special needs kids, you know, just, it was a little difficult to keep them engaged, but I just kept it super light and I just made it playful. And I try I, each um, session that I did individually, I kind of, you know, felt the energy of the child and, and kind of guided it that way. But it was um, kind of sweet. One of the, there were, the kids were so different. One of the kids he did everything I did and, and he just, you know, really took it, took, took, took to it. Another one of the children just would sit there, you know, blank faced and even said, I don't know why we're doing this. This is stupid. <laughs> why are we even doing this? I don't even know what this is. So we, I tapped on that. I'm like, I know, isn't this stupid? This is so crazy. I don't even know what this is. This tapping stuff is so weird. You know, and he, he cracked a smile and, and actually did it. I know this is so weird. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> so, you know, I just kept it light and, and just didn't. And, and then also encouraging the teachers and the, the, the assistants would sit with me with the kids and the teachers would, would tap while I was tapping with the kids. So I just really tried to make it inclusive, fun, not anything not a big deal. And um, it, 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 they enjoyed when I was there. I mean, they didn't always engage, but they seemed to be basically present. On the very last day, I read the story again, and I gave them each a little, um, a little crystal heart, like a rose quartz heart piece of, you know, rose quartz. 
and, you know, tapped with them about, you know, I'll see you again. And it just, just kind of to close it out. Um, and it was super special. I would love to do it again. I hope to have the opportunity um, this coming school year when school starts to, to do it again. I'm still in touch with that teacher. She's moving to a different school. Hopefully they'll be open to it, but it was, it was really special and amazing. I, I enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'll be so encouraging to other parents and teachers to hear that and other practitioners. Thank you. And it, it sounds like you were having, having fun through the whole process as well. I did. I enjoyed it. I, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. And look, hopefully to do, do more of it. Yeah. <laughs> and Deanna, I love that you just used his kind of reluctance to just build trust. Like, oh, this is so lame. It's so dumb. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. And I think everyone can do that. We get triggered. It's like, just go there with them. You're, you built trust with him. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And I just have to ask, because I feel like it's a lingering question, how did you lead a 10-minute session with each of these kids? What did that look well, like? Well, you know, I, it really wasn't, it was more, um, I had made photocopies of each one of the tapping points, and I put them out on a table, and I kind of said, remember this point, you know, and I would do it, the, the gorilla point, or the gorilla thumping point, or I would ask them which one was their favorite. We never actually, like, I... I I tried to say, okay, you know, um, is there something you're nervous about? But that just didn't, it didn't flow. It didn't flow like that. It didn't flow to actually like work on something specific with them. Um, so more than anything, I just um, familiar, got, wanted to get them familiar with the tapping points and feel, felt like even just, you know, doing this for, 20 seconds that we're going to get some sort of benefit from it. So I didn't like project. I tried not to project that I needed to like do this amazing healing on these children in 10 minutes. I just went into it having fun to give a familiar, to make them familiar, have them have some familiarity with it. So if I am able to go back with them, they'll be like, Oh, you know, I remember that. And then they were to be able to just laying groundwork, I guess is really what I was trying to do. And we didn't actually get into sessions like, you know, um, I'm afraid of taking a test or, you know, I didn't, we didn't do that kind of stuff just because it didn't flow in the short time that I had. And the kids are definitely, their energy's huge or really small. So, you know, they're, they're, they're special needs. So it's, um, it's a different dynamic. Um, than, I think it, yeah. I yeah. think it's such a beautiful reminder that simple is best at first with kids. It builds the trust and then you gave them a tool. So thank you so much for sharing that. Yeah. Thank you for the opportunity. <laughs>